we are in Portland. We just landed and we're off to get a taxi. Get a taxi. So we're gonna go find our other bags. We have many more. How many bags? Two other things. Five. Five bags. And then six on the way home. Why do you need so many bags? Because we got a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, we're at Trillium Lake. It is early in the morning. We got up 4.30, 5. We got up early and we drove here. This is a really popular spot you may have seen on Instagram. So we're gonna go set up and Lisa's gonna start painting and put the drone up and we'll have some fun. I'll be painting with Newton and Windsor oil paints. So I'll be doing landscapes of Mount Hood with Trillium Lake and some evergreen trees. It's a beautiful morning. The reflections on the lake are perfect. So the trick when shooting in a nature environment is you want to make it seem like you're the only people there. A lot of the times you'll see fishers or tourists around you, so you have to get creative with your shots. We frame Lisa so she's actually blocking other people who are around her. Something people overlook all the time, especially in like independent filmmaking, is sound. We have a few different kinds of microphones with. We've been shooting a lot with the Rode Stereo Video Mic X, so this gives awesome uh, sound for basically environments. We're gonna be putting on a shotgun mic, an NTG3 right now, um, because even though this is awesome to pick up your surroundings, if there's people talking, you're gonna hear them talking. So if Lisa's talking, I can aim this at her mouth and essentially we're gonna be picking up just her voice and we're gonna be rejecting the sound all around her. I've never actually painted from a computer screen before and so having this entire painting process done from the computer screen in order to have my aerial shot, it was just like a really exciting challenge. It's about three o'clock. Lisa has been painting for many hours now. How many hours now? You know, I have no idea. So long Maybe she... Maybe four hours? I kind of lost track of time. So we've been here all day from before sunrise to now the sun's setting. It's getting pretty chilly right now. Lisa did a great job painting the scene from the aerial perspective. I just kind of jumped in head first and it just really made me think, you can do anything. If you really want to do something and try something new, like it's always worth it. I just want to say thank you so much to Jerry's Artorama for all of the supplies. The materials were great. I couldn't have asked for anything better. If anyone is interested in doing something like this, I recommend Jerry's Artorama. They have a great selection. One of the most challenging things so far has really been the weather. It's pretty unpredictable and unstable, so we're really just trying to run with uh, what we have. And I mean, we're getting some pretty great footage so far. All right, after this uh, vehicle leaves the parking lot, I think we'll have you take off. You always want to pack as lightly as you can. So it's kind of just common sense, but it really makes like a world of a difference when you're out in the field shooting and you have a bunch of gear with. We have everything packed in two Manfrotto bags, the drone case, and obviously we have the Ronin with. We're really trying to venture off the grid as much as possible for this trip. So having this Jeep provided by Dick Hanna's Jeep dealerships has been incredible to really give us that ability to get to those rustic locations we're looking for. <laughs> Haven't seen much of the sun this trip. So when we get a chance to see the sun, we gotta throw the drone up. So we just got to Cannon Beach and we're at Haystack Rock. We've got 17 mile an hour winds coming in from the ocean. So it's gonna be interesting putting the drone up. Right now we're composing our shot. Um, I'm flying, Lisa's flying the camera. I'm gonna hand over the controls to Lisa right now. Uh, this is her first time flying the drone, so we're going to give the artist the ability to actually capture the shot. Just to make sure
sure nothing goes wrong. We're just gonna drop all that that footage um, to a backup drive real quick, um, and then we'll get some more footage. Packing up the Jeep and about to go get some clan chowder, yay! I think that should be okay. <laughs> but seriously, this is our last day of painting and filming and um, yeah, I had a great trip and excited to eat and warm up. Okay.